Let me show you two really powerful social media workflows right now. So we have an export right here, and then we have the Instagram scraper right here. And this export is going to be running for 14 times a day on the free plan, or you can get hundreds of times a day if you are getting the paid plan. So I'm just going to execute this workflow right here. And this is going to be the longest part just with the API request and the AI agent. And boom, we are done. That is one tweet that sent off for the day. Beautiful. And right here, you can see all the data from X coming through. And then we have clean data on the right hand side. That's then going through and I'm just choosing one, which is going to be the latest one. Okay. Because essentially we want to be replying to that person as fast as humanly possible. So that's what we're doing right here with the AI agent. Now I do know they do have a tool for the X, but an AI agent can sometimes it, you know, iterate a few times. We don't want that. We want it to make the tweet and boom, we sent it, which I'm doing right here with a create tweet node. Um, we simply just place in a text right here, which is just going to be that what's generated by the AI agent and the tweet ID. Okay, and the tweet ID is just gonna come directly from here. Okay, very, very simple, but this is very, very powerful stuff because when you are sending all of these replies to people, especially to these big accounts, um, you are going to get a lot of exposure, lots of views, likes, replies, and things like that um, if you are fast, right? But you got to be super fast. And the way it works is that we have a schedule trigger right here, and this is going to be triggering 14 times a day, okay? Because if you actually calculate it, we do get 500 free requests every month, okay? So it's roughly about 14, 15, but take into account maybe some uh, failed uh, sends and things like that. So I've just set it for 14. Then we're just doing the endpoint through rapid API, which is a Twitter AIO right here. This is extremely cheap too. You do have a, um, you know, free plan, obviously you get 300 a month, but if you do jump on the $5 plan, you get 12,000 requests a month. So that's absolutely fine too. And then we're just processing them through. We select the latest one. Okay. And these tweets are already performing really, really well. Okay, so if you look over here, you can see these tweets are already getting a lot of traction. And we're also creating like engagement scores and things like that. Now that's being passed through. Boom, we select the latest one based on the creator time so we can get, you know, as high as possible position. Um, and then we just go straight through to the AI agent, make the tweet, boom, send it off. Now you might be wondering too, why am I not storing any data? Like why am I not um, putting in the database and storing it in there for later? Because I don't care. If, if I, by the time I come around to it again, I need new tweets. I need the latest tweet again. So I'm not even caring about that at all. I want to get the latest tweets and that's it. Over here, we're also getting the tweet data for our account. So if I just run this really quick and you'll see it jump on through. All right, so I haven't actually got my chat ID in here. And if you look at the message right here, this is going to be our tweet performance for the last 24 hours, okay? But only the last 14. And the reason for that is because obviously, you know, we're triggering this only 14 times a day. Thus, we only want to get 14 tweets for that day. But obviously, if you were like um, on the paid plan, and you're sending like 200, 300 tweets a day, obviously increase that, right? You know, or maybe just get the best performing tweets, just get like 10 or 20 of them, just so you get an understanding every day what is performing really, really well. But this is working really, really well for my clients as well, who do use workflows just like this, okay? They love replying to people because they get the most exposure that way. This does get traction. The, the replies to heaps of accounts, that, accounts that are really, really getting good exposure, this works fantastically. And I'll just show you the AI agent really quick too. So if I open up the AI agent here, it is a very, very dead simple prompt. But there's one little secret tip that I'll give you here. You see here, I'm replying as a 17 year old girl, uh, casual style. Okay. The reason for that is because now the replies that it generates do not look very AI like. Okay. But I've also added in here that I, you know, I don't want to be sending bloody paragraphs of text as well. So 10 or 20 words. And then I have write without proper punctuation, like a teenage girl texting. I keep tone very casual, humorous, relatable. And there was one thing, oh, this one right here. So craft responses that spark mild emotion or controversy to encourage replies. So it's going to be a little bit, you know, sneaky, you know, cheeky in some cases, but not over the top as well, where, you know, you're just getting bloody lots of hate to you and everything like that too. Down here for the large language model, I'm using open router, but the reason why I'm using open router is because I want to use the model uh, Moonshot AI with, which is the latest Kimi K2 model, the 0905. And the reason for that, because is 
if you look at the benchmarks, okay, so for the creative writing benchmarks, Kimi is rated 2. The thing is for Kimi though, the price is extremely cheap in comparison to like O3 in comparison. Well, Horizon Beta was free, but it's not even available anymore. Um, Claude Opus 4, you know, that's like a $75 model. Then you got GBD5 and thing. You know, this is like 95% cheaper than the rest, but it's scoring number 2. And it's a fantastic model, even for coding and things like that. You should definitely look into it if you haven't been, you know, getting into that. Now, for the Instagram one right here, essentially, if you've seen my Instagram uh, workflows in the past, you probably see, you know, I have nodes going over here, nodes going over there, and, you know, it's just a, a bloody mess at that point, right? It looks good. People like it because they think, oh, there's a lot more nodes, so it must be better. It, it doesn't work that way. All right. It does not work that way. The way I approach NA10 now is less is better, but make it re really, really powerful and fast as hell. OK, this is the way that I'm making it now. And this is the way, honestly, that you should be making it as well. So I'll just show you really quickly a few of you know how these kind of work. Let's just take Selena's Selena Gomez's video here. So we'll look for a real. I'll just take this one right here. Copy link address. We'll jump over here and if I just open the chat and I can just send that off and that'll actually come down straight to the comments okay so we'll get some comments and that'll pass through and there we go we get the comments from her uh, Instagram reel we can also do a, a user post okay so I'll just even do let's do Selena Gomez again so Selena Gomez user posts Send that off, and that comes straight up here. Now, see here as well, I'm not using a text classifier, right? And very good important reasons, because I don't want to have another call, which is another delay, which is maybe sometimes right, maybe wrong. You know, generally it's right, you know, especially if you're querying it correctly. But that's more money that we're having to spend as well, and more latency, because it now has to think and, like, you know, actually output the answer before it goes out, whereas this is, like, instant. And then jumping over here, we get all the information here, just as per normal. We can also just take one of these videos as well. Open this up right here. There we go. We do have reels from her, you know, account as well. Um, you can right click download that. I don't even know if I should be telling you that, but fair enough. That's just how it works. And we can even search reels very, very quickly. So if I just put in funny search reels, that goes through this endpoint right here. Okay, so let that finish up. Boom. We get all that crap on the side here. There we go. Very, very simple. Um, but there is one little extra one here, which is going to be useful for, I suppose, lots and lots and lots of people who do want to be repurposing videos, finding their competitors, finding even more competitors that you don't even know about. Um, I'm just going to take that off really quick because this is actually going to do another request, which is really annoying. And that's to get more information, but I won't show you that for now. And let's just go with um, the AI so far competitors. I'm going to chuck that in there. And here we go. Boom. There we go. Okay. So the AI server is just another person on Instagram. Okay. But based on his channel, these are going to be the competitors who are very, very similar to him. Okay. So, you know, a lot of these people, I don't even know myself, but this is a good way to start getting more and more people that you don't even know about that maybe you should look into. Okay. Because they're going to be very, very relevant to the person um, that you originally placed in there, which in this case was the AI surfer. But very, very powerful, very, very quick. You could, you know, honestly put this up and set it up with a telegram trigger. I've got a web hook here as well. You set that up, you connect it to your web app, things like that. Chat to it on there. Have your own database on there as well. Place it all into your web app to see all of the data. Um, you know, I've just put in simple little air tables in here just for now, but you could literally set all of that up just the way you want it. And this is all possible because of the super code node for NA10. This is just a custom NA10 node that I've built because I just felt there was too many limitations with NA10 and it was starting to get on my nerves. So I decided to build a node that kind of just literally, well, not kind of, it does it all. It does literally everything that NA10 does and more. And without this node, this workflow would look something like this. You know, there'll be so many nodes going on like this, right? And you'll see this a lot on places like LinkedIn where they have 50 or 100 different nodes. It's an absolute nightmare. Please take my advice. 
Never build workflows like that. They're absolute rubbish. But yeah, if you want to step up your game, get my custom made tools that I've got in my community right here as well, or you want to grab those templates that I've just made, feel free to join the school community. But if I don't see you there, see you in the next video.